So thank you for, uh, for Edison uh, Foundation and for EEI having me here. It's great to see a number of uh, familiar faces. Um, this, is, this is a great conference. I know it's uh, only it's in its, its second year, but it's, it's really uh, uh, an interesting opportunity uh, to see the intersection of, of, of utilities and, and um, how they're thinking about the customer experience in, in, in new and innovative ways. So as you know, the president is focused on creating the economy that's built to last. And I think we'd all agree that the economy built to last by definition uh, has to be one that cultivates, that encourages, and builds upon innovation. And I know innovation is a theme of this uh, particular conference, and that many of you are thinking about how the electric industry is uh, rethinking its relationship with a, with a customer and how customers interact with the utility. Uh, consumers want to know their bill to date if they can. They want to know their, their energy spend. Um, you know, they, don't, they don't just want to get a, a paper bill at the end of the month. And so this type of innovation and, and uh, entrepreneurship is a key element of the administration's all of the above strategy to reduce energy costs for consumers while protecting health and the environment. Our all of the above energy strategy focuses not just on developing cleaner and more efficient modes of energy generation, but also on novel ways to help consumers conserve energy and save money right now. But we can't do it all alone. We need your help. We rely on your help, your leadership, and your vision. So back in September, we issued a call to action to the utility industry, challenging utilities to lead the way forward. Uh, in consumer empowerment um, by providing customers secure access to their own energy data. We called it uh, green button. Consumers should be able to get their own energy data with a simple click of a button. And just three months later, in January, two large utilities had gone live with green button functionality. In 90 days, two large utilities had, had answered the call to action and, and put a green button on their website. <laughs> Uh, so that customers, after they've logged in, are able to download and access their own energy data. Um, and another four uh, committed to, to Green Button in 2012. Uh, it's with great excitement that I announced today that nine additional major utilities and electricity suppliers are committing to provide more than 15 million households access to their own energy data with Green Button. So these new commitments, joining those in January, means that 27 million households in total will be able to access their own energy information. And so while the, the administration may have challenged, convened, provided technical assistance, and yes, even cajoled, I can tell you that none of this would have been possible without the leadership, vision, and active participation of the utility industry and its vendors. Because Green Button, at its core, is industry-led. It is the voluntary adoption of a consensus industry standard. I'll say that again. It's the voluntary adoption of a consensus industry standard. But to ensure that this data is, is useful and, and, uh, and, and valuable for consumers, uh, there are opportunities to turn it into actionable information. So I'm pleased to announce today as well uh, that nearly a dozen technology, energy efficiency, uh, solar finance companies have committed to use Green Button data uh, to, to deliver new value uh, to uh, uh, consumers. And a number of, of uh, suppliers to the utility industry have also committed to support Green Button implementation uh, across the industry. So let me give you a, a little example of why this matters. Why are we celebrating a data interoperability standard? It sounds kind of wonky here, right? And you here you have the White House saying, uh, or the administration saying, a, uh, a green button is a good thing, and, and at, at its core, it's, it's a data interoperability standard. It's empowering consumers to get their, their own energy data. But it, the opportunity here is to harness the pace and the excitement of, of the IT uh, uh, world, of, of the information and mobile worlds, to harness those in safe and secure ways so that they can build the kind of, of valuable services um, for consumers. So we have a, a lot of great uh, examples uh, upstairs and outside about, about utilities innovating either on their own or, or, or with, with their partners. But utilities don't need to be uh, the only innovator. 
There, there's a, a whole ecosystem of, of third party apps and online services uh, that are possible, that consumers can choose to use that if, if they trust those, those uh, particular consumers, uh, those services. So let me give you a few uh, quick examples here. Um, in the course of a weekend, a software developer built an app to look at your rates. That is, you upload your, your green button data, and it says, hey, there's actually a cheaper uh, tariff. You might want to switch. Um, another example is a uh, solar app that basically looks at your energy usage data and uh, mashes, it, mashes it up with solar uh, irradiance and, and, your, and your house, and it says this is the, the, the optimal size of, of solar panels, and this is why. Uh, this is kind of your value proposition. And so that actually can speed uh, deployment of solar and in solar finance models if you're able to articulate to the customer what the value proposition is. Um, but you have to earn their trust. Um, think of Green Button in the same way of, of you, go, you go onto your bank account and you're able to export or download your own, your own, um, uh, your own checking account information. Whether you share that with your accountant or whether you share that share that with a family member, that's your private financial information that you can choose to upload to a mint.com or, or, or share with a, a financial advisor who can help you get your spending under control. So I think we're just really in the early stages in, uh, of, of what's, what's possible here. Uh, you know, who knows, we might see an Angry Birds app for, for energy. Um, but we also know that consumers um, are going to take advantage of innovative services and applications if they feel confident that their data is secure. And uh, privacy has never been more important than today in the age of the internet, uh, the web, and, and, and phones that we have everywhere. And throughout history, markets have depended on trust and government has always played a vital role in assuring that trust. So that's why the President has called for, uh, called on Congress for a Consumer Bill of Rights, a dynamic model on how to offer strong privacy protection and enable ongoing innovation in new information technologies. And so in areas where there isn't a federal privacy regime, like the electric industry, there is an opportunity for government to convene stakeholders in multilateral discussions to facilitate the development of a voluntary code of conduct. The benefit of a national privacy regime for energy data is one set of industry-wide rules that protects consumers and also fosters innovation services. It's possible to have something that really can protect uh, uh, consumers, but also uh, uh, is flexible enough to, to recognize that there's a lot of uh, really exciting innovation that's happening in energy, but also as energy intersects with, with uh, security and, and, and other home control services. Um, I want to make one final point. I think we know that uh, utilities across the country have pretty heterogeneous assets. IT systems, uh, generation, regulatory regimes. Uh, there's one thing I've, I've, I've learned about the, uh, the over 3,000 electric utilities in the country is, is, is that there is uh, some heterogeneity uh, to it all. Um, and that's, I think, some part of the magic of, of, of Green Button is that it's a flexible technology standard. Um, so we have today large, a large utility that is committing to make monthly data in green button. And that may not have as much application value as, as hourly or 15 minute data, but that actually can help uh, drive uh, uh, retrofits faster. So you can think about doing virtual energy audits and really getting to, to job creation, those retrofits faster. So the, the green button standard is actually a flexible standard. Uh, some of you may, the utilities that have, have committed to implement this in 2012 and beyond, some may, may use it to provide cost information some, those that have, have deployed smart meters will be able to, to provide uh, hourly or even 15 minute. But even those, those utilities that only have uh, uh, monthly data available and that the rate case for smart meters may not prove in uh, for, for another decade, they still have this opportunity to empower customers, help them shrink their bills, and foster innovation. A, a national standard, a industry consensus standard, not the federal government standard, is a really powerful thing when we think about harnessing uh, uh, kind of the IT innovation um, and, 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 and apply it uh, to, to the energy system in a pretty profound way. So uh, we're really just in the, in the early, early, early innings. I know it's been lots of hard, hard work on the standards 
bodies uh, for many years, and now we're, now we're at a place where we have a number of utilities committing uh, to make energy data uh, available to their, to their consumers. And so we're just starting to see some of the apps. The Department of Energy uh, announced today that they're going to have an Apps for Energy contest. Uh, EPA is going to think about how Green Button fits into a lot of their voluntary programs um, in terms of benchmarking buildings um, and, and retrofits and those, those types of things. Uh, but we really are in the first inning. So I'm, I'm excited about all the uh, innovation and, and, and consumer empowerment to come. So thank you for having me here.